Hello again. Now the other week I was at an outdoor event where lots of people had air horns powered by compressed gas. And after they used the gas they just left the horn bit, like this, lying about. So I picked one up thinking that it looked a lot like a gramophone horn and sound box and maybe I could turn it into one. So I'm going to try taking it to pieces. This bit at the back does seem to come off, so we just pop that off. Right, well, a quick look. Well, disappointingly, this metal bit here seems to be crimped on to the plastic bit, so it doesn't look like it's possible to actually open it up anymore without um, using a bit of physical or brute force. But maybe if I attach an arm and a needle there, it will still work because if I tap on there, I can actually hear it coming out the horn. So it's worth a try. So that's what I'm going to go and do. Okay, for this build I'm going to use a little pulley removed from a tape recorder and I've inserted the gramophone needle into the hole and then used a grub screw to hold it tight. So I'm just going to tape that onto a bit of uh, coffee stirrer and then I'm going to stick the coffee stirrer onto there so the needle will vibrate and hopefully vibrate the diaphragm here and I'm using this old ion record deck I'm going to mount the whole thing probably like so So it actually tracks over the record and just ignore the uh, ceramic cartridge which is already there. Okay, so there's the first attempt at sticking it together. Now I'm just going to attach it onto the arm and we'll see if it wants to work. Right, I had to use a, a bit more tape than I expected to get it all stuck together. And it's very crude and not built to last. But it does just about work. Right. That's enough, I think. The uh, coffee stirrer is not properly stuck onto the diaphragm, so I need to find a better way of doing that. But um, it does work. And uh, I think if I took it to pieces a bit more, I might be able to make something better using the same horn. Okay, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. And if you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe to Mr. IT Stuff.